This is tough, y'all, but we're gonna get through it. Getting that hamstring back. A1. So what's up, y'all? We have Megan here. She's helping me rehab and get back to 100%. And I just want to ask you, what kind of did we go through? Yep. So everybody will know kind of what was the process. Awesome. So today, so it was the first day in after this injury that happened two days ago. So first, we just want to kind of gauge an overall picture of how she's feeling, how she's moving, what her strength is like, what her range of motion's like, and then what her is her overall function like. Yep. So first, we just looked at those things like, you know, how is her, is her hamstring um, really sensitive? How is she moving? Is she changing the way she moves? Yeah. Um, measured strength. Yep. Yeah, that would be a little long thing. Yep, yep, the little, okay. yep, it's called a handheld dynamometer and they'll okay. show us in pounds. So okay. you push about 10 pounds less on that injured side. Okay, yep. Not to say you're necessarily weaker on that side, but it could be like the pain is stopping you from pushing fully, fully too. Through. So, yep. but we just like to get that, that measurement. Um, so today, yes, the box stuff. Yes, what was what that? We, yep, that was isometrics. So that's okay. what we started with today is okay. isometric contractions, meaning that we're engaging the muscle, but we're not actually um, moving up and down through a range. We're just, she's just engaging it and holding it. Mm -hmm. So we did longer holds, about 45 second holds, um, so that we can get that muscle used to load mm -hmm. and see how it responds. So, yep. And then um, <laughs> we, we did some machines, so we isolated out yep. quads. Yep. Um, when, when the quads straighten the knee, the hamstrings have to let go and lengthen on the back side. So that's kind of just a nice range of motion. Plus you get the strength for the opposite muscle group. Mm. Um, we did leg press, like just bending yep. and straightening in single leg, which she tolerated very, very well. Yeah, kind of right. putting everything together. Yep. yep. And then lastly, some more um, isometric hamstring curls on the prone machine, meaning on her belly. Yep. So. So that was great. We did yeah. a little core work and then we hopped in the pool, um, which is great. Good. So, yep, so that then we can work on gravity lessened environment with the yeah. pool. And then what's really nice with Ariel today is already she was walking with a normal stride and no pain, yep. which on ground that would hurt right now. So yeah. we can get away with a little more in the pool and we can on ground. So <laughs> We're we'll, team assistant yeah, here. Yeah, we'll bed ground whatever we can get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. exactly. I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure. All right, Thanks John. for working hard. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, as as I told y'all, we were doing the ultra deep. Before we did that, I wasn't able to record. We were doing deadlifts, calf raises, and lunges on top of uh, bridges for my glutes and hammies. And then, my favorite, but not my favorite. Afterwards, you gotta get in the cold tub. Listen, I hate this thing, but love this thing. But guess what? It's only ten minutes of my life to help me. So. You know, I gotta keep this body right, okay? You gotta keep the body right. So we're about to jump in here for 10 minutes and I'm about to be saucy while we're doing it, but we're gonna get it done. All right, y'all, we're getting in the pool. I don't know what we're, how, how she's gonna have me doing this, but it takes, what does it take? Like the stress off your body, right? Exactly. It takes yep. the pressure off and stuff. You're going like 100%. Body weight, you might go like 80. Exactly, yes. Yeah. It allows me to do more things. Yes, sir. <laughs> Like what, like on land without the water? Yeah, I mean, reaching this 
far away. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It, it was hard for me. Um, I tried to do a little bit today, like see if I could actually stretch out when I walk. It was yeah. kind of cool. What are we doing in the water today besides anything else? So, so we're going to do. We're going to walk in the living room. We actually put bands on. We're going to do some like band walks. Okay. Um, and then. He's a, he's a PT PhD. He's actually out of University of Wisconsin. He does a ton of research and rehab on running medicine, but okay. he deals a lot with hamstring injuries. Okay. And so he kind of came up with this algorithm of like, you have to have normalized gait first, right? So normal normal stride. Normal stride. And then we start adding in frontal plane, so side stepping, crossover stepping, yeah. quick marching. Once you get to that, then we get to move to the next group of exercises. Okay. And then we start getting into some side shuffling. Okay some high knees with march yep. and so it's just a way to progress movement okay um and, and you kind of use functional milestones then you then then you do time okay so if all of a sudden you can do it all great we're gonna move to the next thing okay. so and you know i don't know what you want to say in the game but you know we're doing core work mobility work based on how your hamstring tolerates it okay. um, and how it feels with increased movement, increased amplitude, speed, intensity. Front plates? Yep. So, I want you to think about which front plane. You're going to be here, right? So we're going to really tighten, lock out quads, really engage core, okay. squeeze glutes. Okay. So you're really locked up. Tell me when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. I'm a countdown type of girl. Like Are you? Man, yeah. You like it? The yeah. countdown? 15. You know, not the Five, whole time. 4, 3, 2, 1. Not the whole time, of course, but like. Alright, you got those things left? Alright, so now we're going to go into your side plank. So I want you up, hold, and then the top side we're going to do a leg raise with a little bit of a clamshell so you're getting some hip rotation in there. Alright, yours look good. Huh? I said yours look good. I, I, can, I can look really good on any exercise for about 10 seconds. <laughs> so you sit here and yeah. then... Yeah, so, yep, and then, and then when you're raising that top leg, think about opening up your hips oh, a little bit. Up. Yeah, okay. so it's going to get those deep hip rotators okay. too. How does this look on camera? Am I in the right spot? Make me look good. Can you see everything? Yep. Okay. Then open it up. So we're going to go 30 seconds and then we're going to switch sides. Where I'm at. You got it? 
got five seconds. Woo! Time. Woo, now we're having fun. Those are tough. Woo! <laughs> that little, uh, <laughs> that leg raise gets you, doesn't it? It does. I'm always so bad with these. Ready? Yep. Time. Oh. Alright, let it rest and we're gonna cycle through those again. done doing some balance work a little activation but also activating the hammies making sure I can stay balanced now we're gonna do some glute bridges so fun we love these right so this fun. Is the good stuff this is the good stuff he says get that booty right <laughs> <laughs> get that booty right here be up first like at that 90 degree angle okay. We're going to still tighten your core, so I want you to think of that, that pelvic tilt. Okay. And then squeeze glutes, so you're going to preload your, your butt muscles. Okay. And then up and hold. Okay. okay. Alright, gotcha. Alright. Woo! Alright guys, so this is for hamstring strength and core. And just really getting me back to moving my hamstring in a way that a leg does, right? So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It's almost like a glute bridge with the ball, but not full, not fully. Bring it up in the bridge. Go straight down. Bring your butt down. Pull the hamstring this way. Oh. And then we did what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds. We did that for like 30 seconds, I think twice. So yeah. All right, so they're trying to kill me today and we're gonna be working on, what are these, the ropes, right? For cardio, because clearly being hurt, you can't actively get into your sport. So you don't wanna lose your cardio. So we're gonna be doing this ropes for cardio. They're gonna kill me. We're doing 15, 15, 15, which is ultimately 45 seconds. The first one's gonna be together, the second one's gonna be big alternate, and the third one is gonna be small alternate really, really fast. So, wish me luck. Five seconds. Ten seconds. All right, alternating. Come on. There you go. It's five seconds. Ten seconds. All right, quick alternating. All right, last 15 seconds. Dig deep. Dig deep. You have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. 